Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back. Brandon again, back in the basement where I tend to dwell. And the gym is starting to finally come together. Now, since the last time I filmed, it's been about a week. I've talked about in previous videos. I haven't had a ton of time as we're moving into the house. I actually just recently went on a little vacation with the family up to New Hampshire. So I didn't have a ton of time to put stuff together, but I did make significant progress. And one of the good things is, is I don't have that much stuff to actually put together down here in the basement. It's pretty minimal as I was coming from a very small footprint in the previous garage tour of duty to the new home base of the basement. That means I had my rack. That means I had my GHD that you guys were aware of and my deadlift platform. So I pretty much just gave it a day for each thing because again, I'm doing this at night and it roughly takes me anywhere from 15 minutes to maybe almost an hour, I think for the, the actual rack. And that's more just because I'm doing it all myself. So I completely built everything myself. So if you're worried that you can't do this, if I can do it, you can do it. The toughest thing is putting on just the nameplate behind me of the RM3. That thing is heavy and getting it up there and keeping it up is something that is very difficult to do, but I've had a lot of practice doing that. Mostly because I've moved a couple times and I've had to put that up in other places as well. I don't know what you guys were thinking about, uh, but it basically took me like three days to put the gym together. And that was just because it was doing a piece at a time. I've also gone ahead and assembled another newer piece of equipment, which I'll eventually, of course, do a video on. And that's the Rogue Echo Bike. I really liked my Airdyne that I had before that I got for $100. The Rogue Echo Bike is a lot more expensive than that at like $775, which includes shipping, by the way. Shipping is included in that. Uh, but it's a great bike. I used it in the warm up room at the last meet I did, and I really enjoyed it. And I really wanted to get a bike in here. And now, given the COVID pricing, that $100 Airdyne that I found for a steal probably is going for like $700 anyways. So it just made sense to get it. Now, as I show you here around the, the gym real quick, and I'm sure I'm showing you pictures and montages of me putting stuff together. One of the things that you'll notice is it is still somewhat spacious. So not everything is cramped together. Although this rack that I'm sitting behind right now is kind of tucked in the corner and that's because I'm not done. So this was like the first phase and that is get in everything that I already had. I've been working with Rep Fitness on potentially doing some stuff. I say potentially because hopefully it comes to fruition. I don't think it's not going to, but just in the event that it doesn't, I'd feel stupid if I said it's 100% guaranteed, but working on getting some stuff through Rep Fitness as well to kind of finish out the gym, some pieces that I've been interested in kind of giving a go. And I think it's gonna make for some good content in terms of comparing and contrasting to what I've already have and what my other experience has been. Uh, so you'll see those videos hopefully come soon. I think that stuff is supposed to start coming in the next couple of weeks. Uh, so I wanted to make sure that I had the room to fit it down here instead of setting up this gym currently to what I currently have and then having to just move everything later. So I set it up with the idea of I'm leaving space for certain things to go in here. So we'll see if I did a good enough job again hopefully within a couple of weeks. That being said, I've been getting asked from other people, you know, where are the videos? And unfortunately, I just don't have the time right now. Work's busy, life's busy, uh, but I am gonna try to get out at least one a week. I have a couple of things I want to do videos on. Uh, most recently, I just got in the iSell Fitness bumper plates, which I think are a great value for the money, but we'll see how they hold up over time. I'll do a review on those. I got an iSell Fitness deadlift bar in bare steel. I wanna do a review on that. Uh, and then I got some other things from Rogue recently outside of the Echo Bike. Uh, such as I got their grab bag bar. So it's a hundred dollar barbell. You don't really know what you're going to get for the most part. I'll do a video on that. I also got a Boneyard Ohio deadlift bar, which I'll do a review on and maybe compare to some of the other bars that I've owned. And I also got some tiles for my deadlift platform, which don't really mean much and probably won't do a review on those, but I just wanted to get tiles for that. Uh, so I do have some of those videos in the works as well as finally talking about training. I trained for the first time today after the gym was set up in probably about five or six weeks. So I ease myself back in and talk about what my plans are in terms of training, and then maybe get back to some old uh, tried and true videos that I've been neglecting in the past. But if there are certain things you wanna see, leave them in the comments section below, let me know, and as always, I'll consider it. But in the meantime, as always, thanks for watching and stay big.